I think one of the trends we're going to see is uh, more of an emphasis on earned income to those of us who are lucky enough to be able to offer a, pro uh, a service uh, to the public. Um, we're very lucky in that 75% of our income is earned, um, but we're trying to even increase that because we need to decrease our reliance on, in our case, government and foundations and corporations at a time like this when donations are down. And one thing I wanted to say too, there's so much of a focus right now on social media. I think what people also need to realize is that there are still newspapers out there. They're greatly reduced in their capacity and reporters are getting laid off. What we do very effectively is a couple of things. We use digital cameras and we submit photographs with captions. We do all the work for newspapers that are really lacking in resources. And this week in a local paper, we were prominently featured because we took the initiative to take the pictures and send the information. I also write a weekly column for another paper that can't afford to pay someone. And it's, I mean, it tie, it's tied into what I do and what our nonprofit does. So every week for the last three years, we've had a column uh, that has kind of reinforced the value and the specialness of our nonprofit. So I think much as we can focus on uh, Twitter, Facebook, etc. I think people need to look at local newspapers and see how you can fill the needs that they have. It's very depressing that they don't have reporters or photographers anymore, but there's an opportunity there that I think people aren't talking about.